coming to the eighth question xy is a line parallel to side bc of triangle abc if be is parallel to ac and cf is parallel to ab meet xy at e and f respectively show that area of triangle abe is equal to area of triangle acf now moving on to the solution let us consider a triangle abc as shown in figure in this he says that there is a line xy which is parallel to bc and he says be is drawn such that it is parallel to ac so let us join here be with x now he also says that there is another line cf such that it intersects yf xy at f now initially it is given that xy is parallel to bc and now let us consider quadrilateral be yc in this we know that xy is parallel to bc which implies ey is also parallel to bc and also he has given that ac is parallel to be which is drawn by us that implies cy will be parallel to eb therefore here in the quadrilateral bc ye two opposite pair of lines or parallel therefore we can say that here the quadrilateral bc ye is a parallelogram therefore in the parallelogram opposite sides will be of equal length here we can say be is equal to cy and also bc is equal to ey let us also join ae and af here we need to prove that area of triangle abe is equal to area of triangle acf now let us consider the quadrilateral bc fx in quadrilateral bc fx xy is parallel to bc which implies xf will be also parallel to bc and as cf is parallel to ab we can say cf is also parallel to dx therefore in the quadrilateral bc fx we have opposite pair of lines as parallel therefore we can say that here bc fx is a parallelogram in a parallelogram we know that opposite sides are parallel and or equal therefore here we can equate bx is equal to cf and bc is equal to xf here in the first step we got that bc is equal to ey and in the second step we got bc is equal to xf therefore here we can equate ey is equal to xf which implies ey is nothing but ex plus xy that is equal to xf is nothing but xy plus yf that implies ex is equal to fy now we got ex is equal to fy let us draw bp perpendicular to ex and cq perpendicular to yf draw pb perpendicular to ex and cq perpendicular to fy we know that if there are two parallel lines and consider four points on them like pb and qc we know that perpendicular distance between two parallel lines is always constant throughout the continuation of the parallel lines therefore we can say that here pb is equal to cq now let us find the area of triangle bex 
which is equal to half times base is nothing but ex times height is nothing but bp and here area of triangle cyf is equal to half times base here is yf times height here is cq we know that let us find the ratio of these two triangles then we get area of bex by area of cyf is equal to ratio of half times ex by bp and divided by half times yf into cq which is equal to as ex is equal to yf we get the ratio of 1 and bp by cq will be also 1 since bp is equal to cq therefore whole ratio will be equal to 1 therefore we can finally say area of triangle bex is equal to area of triangle cyf let it be as equation number 1 in roman here in the since first condition we got ex is equal to yf we can say triangle aex and ayf have common bases as sum az will be the perpendicular height for both the triangles we can say the perpendicular height for both the triangles is equal and we have your common base therefore areas of those triangles also will be equal that is area of triangle axc is equal to area of triangle ayf let it be as equation number 2 in roman now by adding 1 and 2 we get area of triangle bex plus area of triangle axc is equal to area of triangle cyf plus area of triangle ayf which implies area of triangle bex plus axc is nothing but area of triangle abe or aeb which is equal to area of triangle cyf plus ayf is nothing but area of triangle acf so this is what the required proof for us and it is hence proved